The update that I've been waiting for is finally here. Item hotkeys and something even cooler, item scenes. What are these mythical features you ask? Well, let me tell you. You can now tie any GIF, image or set of images to a single hotkey, which will load an item scene. This will quickly and easily let you put on outfits, change scenery, or give yourself a nice head pat if you're into that kind of thing. If you want to keep up with updates like this, subscribe. I tend to cover things like this quite often. And hey, if you like the change from my normal human model to my cat model, let me know down in the comments. This might be more of a common occurrence. Anyways, let's hop right into it. When you first open the VTube Studio menu, you're going to notice a brand new green button with three stars on it. This is the new item scene button, and I guarantee you're going to love using it. When you load it up, you'll see the create new item scene button. And when selected, you can now assign not only a specific scene name, but you can also give it a group name if you want to build multiple scenes around a specific theme or just want to keep everything organized. You can see a list of all your groups by selecting all groups. And in this menu, you can also see all the items and what level they are on. A positive number in the top left hand corner means they show above your avatar and a negative number means they are behind it. You can also see if they've been pinned to a specific character as the name will show up on the right hand side of the bar. Finally, you can click on the information button to see all the attributes about an item. When you create a new scene, you will have all current active items appear on the menu. You can note which will be added by the bar being blue. If there are any that you do not wish to add to the scene, you simply click on the bar and turn it red. If you do this, it will not be saved to the scene. Coincidentally, if you need to remove something from an item scene, you simply open up item scenes, select the scene you wish to modify, change the items bar to red, and then save. Voila, it's been removed from the scene. There are a lot of fun things you can do with this, and because you can set them up as hotkeys, the amount of extra life and creativity you can now bring to your streams is gonna be just fantastic. Now, let's move on to actually setting up those hotkeys. In the hotkey action menu, you will notice two new options at the bottom. Remove all items from scene and toggle item scene. Remove all items does exactly what it says. It deactivates every item on screen. Toggle item scene will let you select one of your created scenes and turn it on. If you have objects pinned to models, they will attach at the points you left them. However, if you have items pinned to models that are not currently on the scene, they will not be loaded. Otherwise, items will appear in the same location as when you created the scene or last saved. This is super helpful for making quick transitions and any other number of uses you can think of. As a side note, this means that VT Chaos, my lovely little chat application, can now do item toggles because I already had hotkeys built in. Check it out, link in the description. And finally, let's go over how to add items to VTube Studio. You simply select the open data folder on the first tab of settings, which will open up your file explorer. Navigate to the items folder, open it, and from here, you can drag items, images, or GIFs into the folder, and then you'll be able to find them in the item window. If you want to see what other things hotkeys can do, I recommend checking out this video over here. And if you want to learn about the last update, which is how to use webcam hand tracking and gestures, you should check out this one. I'll see you all next time.